I've had a great visit this morning to Golden Grove High School where we've been looking at the environmental programs that this school is doing. They've got sustainability built right across their curriculum uh, and they're doing just great things around recycling, waste management, getting people to think about what their impact is on the environment and how they can take that message back home as well. We have a four bin system in our yard and some offices and classrooms. We have bins for paper recycling, uh, bottles and cans, our 10 cent container deposit scheme, food waste and um, also landfill. Um, but we've also tried things to reduce the amount of waste that's being um, produced. Waste management is being able to control what, what you're using on a daily basis and how much you use of those products as well as finding alternatives to those products that you're using. So I'm really interested in mostly single-use plastics and how we can reduce that in a way that is both ethical and also is doable. So we need to think about uh, how it's realistically going to happen, how things are realistically going to change. Put your organic food scraps in a compost bin and try to make that turn that compost into something that you can use for the environment. I'm really, really proud of the students at Golden Grove High and I think um, it sounds like, and, and from the Minister's words as well, that we're leading the state really from a school system in the programs that are happening here. Often Good environmental practice starts at schools because that message is taken back into our communities. I love visiting schools that are really on board with this and are pushing the boundaries. Golden Grove is setting a standard. Uh, I know the local member Paula Luthan and I look forward to continuing to keep in contact with this school as we hear about the great things that they're doing. They should be really proud. Uh, they're truly a green school and it is just great to be able to see what they're up to.